just that grumbly, rumbly noise. <laughs> <gasps> Hello! Did you hear that? What a funny, grumbly, rumbly noise. <gasps> it's coming from outside. Let's go and see. Did you hear the noise? Yes, there was a kind of grumble and a kind of rumble. Oh, there it is again. Ah! Help! Oh, poor Bar's really scared. Bar? Billy, where are you? Oh, come out, Bar. It's okay. I wouldn't be scared if I knew what it was. Of course you wouldn't, Bar. So, what we really have to find out then is, what is that grumbly rumbly noise? Hey, that's the big question. <laughs> ask a lot Ask a lot Ask a lot Ask a lot Ask it, test it, find a way. Guess with Jess, come on, let's go. the grumbly rumbly noise. Ah! I think the noise sounds a bit like someone drumming. Yes, maybe. Who do we know who plays the drums on Greendale Farm? Can you guess? He's green and small and he loves music. Is it Little Bird, Sammy Snail or Horace? It's Horace, of course! Well done! Let's go and find him. Come on! Horace? Horace! 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 Woohoo! Hey there! Hi, Horace! We heard a grumbly, rumbly sound, and we thought it was a bit like drumming. Drumming? Could you drum for us, Horace? Then we can tell if we're right. No problem. Listen to this. No. That's not it. Ah! Whoa. That is... <gasps> I don't like it. <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from the sky. The sky? Look, the rain clouds look all angry. Maybe they're making angry noises, like this. Ah! 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 Yes! I'm just pretending, Bar. <laughs> Perhaps the clouds are growling at each other too, just like you, Jess. <laughs> Can clouds growl? It depends what they're made of. Let's think. What are rain clouds made of? Do you know? Bars wool, drops of rain, or ice cream? Rain clouds are made of drops of rain. And water doesn't growl, does it? It certainly doesn't. So, if rain clouds can't growl, what could this grumbly, rumbly... <gasps> Did you see that? We've got flashing lights now! Ah! I'm going to Willow Stable. It'll be safe there. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Bob. Bye, Horace. Take it easy, Jess. Ah, I don't like it. Me neither. Did you see the lights? Yes. We don't like it. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Oh, where's Willow? I thought she might know what the grumbly, rumbly noise is. Ah! Oh! She's visiting her auntie today. 
She won't be back till later. Hmm, that's given me an idea. What is that grumbly, rumbly noise? Hey, everybody! Oh, Billy! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might be the sound of something bursting or popping. It could be, Billy, but that bag didn't make a loud enough popping sound. Hmm, who can help us? Who do we know who always has lots of paper and stuff to play with? That's right, Mimi! Let's go and ask her if she's making the noise. Come on. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so that's why we've asked you. Something really big. Biggest you've got. Huge. If you can blow it up and burst it, then we can see if it sounds like the grumbly rumbly sound. Well, OK. Now, let me see. Uh, uh, uh. Aha! Here goes. Burst it, Jess. OK. Ah! <laughs> well? Well, that was a big noise, wasn't it? But no, it's not the right sound. Hmm. What is making that noise? Hello, everyone. What was that big bang? Yay, Willow! Oh, Willow, we heard a grumbly, rumbly sound in the sky. It was really scary. So we've been trying really hard to work out what it is. We thought it might be a big popping sound. And then there were big flashing lights. Oh, you mean lightning. Lightning? lightning. Yes, I saw it at my auntie's house. When you see lightning, you should get inside as fast as you can. We did. Willow, after the lightning, we kept hearing the grumbly rumbly noise. Has that got anything to do with the lightning? Yes, Jess. Clever you. That's thunder. Lightning is always followed by thunder. Ooh, thunder! Thunder, thunder is the sound that lightning makes. Oh! Sound. It's thunder! We've answered the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay, hooray! Hey, hey, yippity yay! We found the answer with just today. We followed the clues that added to the test. We tried our best and then we guessed. Sing it! Hey, hey, yippity yay! Here's the answer. Hooray! The grum rumbly noise is the sound that lightning makes and it's called thunder here comes the rain <laughs> inside everyone next time you hear thunder look out for lightning too but remember stay inside where it's safe come and help me answer another question soon bye with my nature collection. Hello! Guess what? I've got something special to show you. It's in here. This is my nature collection. I've got fur cones and shells and leaves and pebbles and feathers and all sorts of things in here. There you are, Jess. I've been looking for you for ages. Hi, Mimi. We're going on a nature picnic in Buttercup Meadow. Do you want to come? A nature picnic? Great! <gasps> I might find some more things for my nature collection. I didn't know you had a nature collection. <gasps> oh, this is fantastic, Jess. So pretty. What do you do with it? I take it out and look through it. 
I love all the colours and patterns and funny shapes. <laughs> yes, they're lovely. Is there anything you can use it for? Use it for? Yes, so it's useful. I mean, I collect crayons and pencils and paints because they're pretty, but they're really useful too. Hmm, useful. Let's think. How can I make my nature collection useful? <gasps> hey! That's the big question! <laughs> Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way! Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play! What's the question here today? How can I make my nature collection useful? Just what I need for our picnic. A cloth to display the food. Display it? Yes. You know, lay it all out so it looks amazing. <laughs> oh, I've got to make honey sandwiches. Oh, uh, everybody's meeting at lunchtime by the twisty tree. See you later, Jess. Bye, Mimi. Mimi's given me an idea. I can display my collection so everyone can see it. Can you guess where? Somewhere outside, in the middle of the farmyard, with lots of lovely twisty branches. Is it Willow's stable, Mimi's hutch, or the twisty tree? The twisty tree! You're right! Everyone can see my collection. That's got to be useful. <gasps> hey, I've answered the question. <laughs> yippity yay, yippity! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whee! <laughs> my, my nature collection! <laughs> Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Jess. Are you okay? Oh, yes, but my nature collection's not. Look! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry! Why did you put it by the twisty tree? I was making it useful by displaying it so everyone could see it. It's great, but it's a bit in the way here. You don't want to get it spoiled? No, I don't. Then it won't be any use at all. Our nature picnic starting soon. And games. I want to play a running and jumping game. Do you know any good ones, Jess? Hmm. No, sorry. Mimi might know. Let's go and ask her. See you later. Bye. How can I make my collection useful? Who can help me? Maybe someone who collects things. Let's think. Hmm. I know someone who collects musical things. Do you know who I mean? He's green and he's small and he lives in the pond. Is it Horace, Joey or Mimi? Yes, it's Horace. <laughs> Come on. Horace, what do you do with your musical collection? Oh, depends what it is. If it's a guitar, I strum it. If it's a shaker, I shake it. And if it's a drum, I drum on it. <gasps> That's it. Maybe I could make music with my nature collection. Let's test it out! Oh, they don't make much sound, do they? Try those twigs instead, Jess. That's better. These are like drumsticks. Great! Now let's try this feather. Hmm, it's a bit quiet. 
Some things in my collection are easy to make music with, but others are really hard. I want to make everything useful. You'll think of something. I hope so. It's nearly time for our nature picnic. Why don't you bring your collection with you? OK, maybe I'll have an idea on the way. Exactly. Whoopy whoop. Where's Jess? Here I am. Great. Let's go. What a great nature picnic. Mm. Oh, thanks, Mimi. Let's play a game. I haven't brought anything to play games with. Oh, I want to play a running and jumping game. Sorry. <gasps> I can think of something we can play with. Can you guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> Steady. Go! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> and a great way to use your collection. Yes, every bit of it. I've answered the big question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay, yay! Hey, hey, yippity yay! We found the answer with Jess today. We followed the clues, we put it to the test. We tried our best and then we guessed. Sing it! Hey, hey, yippity yay! my nature collection useful by making a running and jumping race. <laughs> Let's play it again. Yeah! Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I really loved making my collection. Perhaps you could start collecting amazing things too. Come and help me answer another question. How can I make Kevin the Carp happy in his pond? Oh, hello. Horace has gone away for a few days, so I'm going to the pond to help look after Kevin the carp. Do you want to come? Great! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Hi, Mimi! Oh, what are you doing? Oh, we're clearing up the pond so that it's nice and clean for Kevin. Hello, Jess! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> you can help Bar and Billy. <laughs> OK. Horace is going to love his nice clean pond. Oh, look! There's Kevin! See? Yay! <laughs> we can see him now we've cleared the weed away. Let's take all this yucky weed to the river. Look at all the fish. They're really gobbling up the weed. <laughs> They're so hungry. They're having loads of fun in the river, aren't they? Let's go back and see Kevin. I bet he's loving his nice clean pond. Oh no! What's wrong with Kevin? He looks really sad. Oh dear! We promised Horace we'd look after him. How can I make Kevin the carp happy in his pond? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of where? Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? How can I make Kevin the carp happy in his pond? 
I know. Let's start by working out what's making him unhappy. Maybe he misses Horace. Mm -hmm. I'd be really sad if I wasn't with Ba. I'd be so lonely. Oh, Billy. That's it. Horace has gone away, so Kevin's lonely. No wonder he's unhappy. Let's stay with him till Horace gets back. Good idea. We'll take turns. looking even sadder than before. I don't think staying with him so he doesn't get lonely is the answer after all. Why does he keep poking his nose into the mud like that? Maybe he's hungry. Hmm. You're right, Bar. He's looking for things to eat. That's why Kevin isn't happy in his pond. There's not enough food in there. What does Kevin like to eat? Hmm. We saw some other fish before eating food in the river. Can you remember what they were eating? Was it grass, pondweed, or lettuce? Pondweed! That's right! Yay! Let's go back to the river and get some of the pondweed for Kevin. There, that should cheer up Kevin. Not too much, Jess, or the pond will get all weedy and messy again. Don't worry, it's just enough for a tasty meal. Here you go, Kevin. It's getting late. We better go home. Hope you feel happier tomorrow, Kevin. Good night. Sleep tight. doesn't seem very happy. Oh, no. And he's gobbled up all the pondweed. Hmm. There must be another answer to the big question. He's just swimming round and round his pond in big circles. I'm glad I don't have to spend all day just walking round and round my barn. It's no fun staying in the same place all the time. Hey, maybe Kevin doesn't always want to stay in the pond. Maybe he needs to go somewhere else for a little holiday. Oh, great idea, Jess. Where should we take him? Well, fish like water. So where do you think we should take Kevin? To the meadow? To Cherry Hill? Or to the river? To the river! You're right! Kevin loves it here in the river. Oh, Kevin's really happy. Let's leave him here overnight so we can have a really good holiday. We can take him back home to the pond tomorrow. See you, Kevin. Oh, no. Poor Kevin. He's really unhappy being back in the pond. He's not jumping or anything. So having a holiday wasn't the answer? No, it wasn't, Bar. We'll have to think of another way of making Kevin happy. <laughs> Look, here's Horace. Hi, Horace. Did you have a good time? It was great, thanks, Jess. Ah, oh, but it's great to be back here with Kevin and in my own pond. <laughs> What's happened to it? We cleaned it for you. Yes, but Kevin doesn't like it, and we don't know why. I do. It was really nice of you to clean my pond, but ponds don't need to be cleaned. They don't? No. Ponds are meant to have lots of pondweed. Fish need it wherever they live. It isn't just food for them. What do you mean? Pondweed helps keep the water fresh and helps them breathe as well. Really? How? Ah, well, you see, fish don't breathe like we do. We breathe oxygen in the air around us. Fish breathe oxygen in the water, and it's the pondweed that puts the oxygen there for them and keeps it clean. Like trees and plants keep our air clean. That's right, Mimi. 
Whoop de whoop! <laughs> so Kevin needs the pond weed in the water, just like we need the trees. Yes, Willow told me. That's why it's good to have lots of trees and plants. Oh, poor Kevin! No wonder he's unhappy. Sorry, Kevin. Yes, sorry, Kevin. Sorry, sorry Kevin. Kevin. It's all right. You didn't do it on purpose. It was just a mistake, and we can soon put it right. How? By putting back the pond weed we put in the river. Isn't that right, Horace? Hoo-hoo! <laughs> you got it, Jess. Wait here. I'll go and get some pond weed from the river. <laughs> I can't see Kevin at all now that all the weed's back. He's happy again! Hooray! <laughs> so am I! And we've found the answer to the big question! Yippity yay! Yippity yay! Yippity yay! Carp happy in his pond by making sure it has lots of pond weed for him to eat and to keep the water fresh and clean. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's really happy now. Why don't you see what animals you can spot next time you visit a pond? Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye bye.